back to the channel, man. We are still continuing on getting the van and the hatch obviously ready for this trip, dude. So what I have here right now is the S8 Ultra. This is a uh, in-dash head unit that is, basically it's an Android in-car entertainment. So um, yeah, you can connect your phone to this and it gives you all the apps and everything on your phone, like GPS, like Google Play for your music, all that stuff. Uh, it's made by Atado. A Tato or whatever, but anyhow, they, they sent this out to me and they are giving you guys 10% off. All the information for that, of course, will be in the description down below. If you guys are interested in a head unit, um, of course, you probably want to see it first. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and install this in the van because you already know, man, it's going to be a long ass road trip and I'm going to need at least some music to listen to. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Some assembly required. Alright, seriously, I want to keep this box. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, this this looks a little intimidating. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a mic? Yeah, it's a mic. It's got a little fuzzy on it. Dude, these are all antennas. Like that's an antenna. This is an antenna. That's an antenna. Like I Junior! Get up here and help a brother out. Get up here and help a brother out. What the fuck is all this? I'm trying to look at porn. I bet you are, you sick fucker. She laughs over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck is going on there? Ooh, it's Bro. Bro. Yeah. What are all these? Good lord, man. Jesus Christ. I thought this was going to be a real quick thing. <laughs> thing made. Jesus! Yeah, that shit was a lot of shit. Yeah. Good lord, man. Wait, well, good luck. Check this out. This is the navigation one. Okay. The Wi-Fi antenna. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> here's the little wiring harness to actually plug it into the van. And we got 4G. Not 4G? 5 or 3. We got 4. Oh. 4G. So look, check this out. Wi-Fi antenna, 4G antenna. Dude, what? This is nuts. Where's the USB wire for the cables? Anyhow, I'm sure we'll get it figured out, but check this out. I went and got a thing from T-Mobile for... Uh, oh, for Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, yeah. Mobile. So this actually has its own service. Wait, what gigabytes though? I... Thank you. No, I got... You, you. They have different plans. I got the, the one that was fucking $55 a month, man. I didn't get the cheapest one. I got a more expensive one, kind of in the middle. But yeah, they had plans all the way up to eighty-five dollars a month. I'm like, Jesus, dude. Yeah, On top of my already three hundred dollars cell phone bill, fuck. Yeah. Anyhow, should have uh, got a cricket. Well, <laughs> I, I, I'm only gonna use this for uploading videos. So hopefully, hopefully that works out. Well, not if I arrive. I'm looking at porn. No, you're not. You're not. You're not uh, logging into the Wi-Fi. You have to run off your network, bro, on your cell phone. <laughs> I got cricket. No, you don't. And we did get the factory jumper harness. We got this from Antonio at O'Reilly, so we'll be able to just wire this to the stereo harness, and we don't have to cut the factory harness out of the van. Yeah. Mm, do it the right way. I say do it the right way, but we're going to be using butt connectors because we're just trying to get this shit done. So uh, we're not going to be actually <laughs> uh, soldering and shrink wrapping, but... Dude, I've always used butt connectors on my stereo, bro. Whatever. Getting all the old bustiness out of here or what? Yeah. Dude, this is nuts, man. Look, I was looking at this. You know you can put a SIM card in this radio? Well, on the radio? Yeah, like the SIM card can take its own, or like the radio can have its own SIM card. Maybe you could take your SIM card from your phone and put it on the radio. Yeah, basically, like I can go to the cell, like I can go to T-Mobile and get a SIM card for like actual service on the that's stereo one, basically. yeah so then this would actually have its own internet and every, like dude that's crazy that's not i mean i'm not gonna do that but that's crazy <laughs> this radio's nuts bro i've never had something this damn fancy jesus look it came with little screen protectors also so you can put screen protectors in there to you know protect the screen oh shit <laughs> bro you have no idea we've been messing with this radio for what well, feels like forever. But it's finally in there, and here is the Wi-Fi antenna, 4G antenna. This is the mic, in which I gotta get this to sit up there. Right, 
but and then this is the gps antenna uh, got all the wiring ran over here had it it's all covered up now but it's all zip tied really nice and clean running all the way down through that way all the way up to the stereo so yeah it's in now we're just gonna finish putting the panel on and everything all the damn speakers in this van are just about blown i think the two on the dash are good and that's about it but i do have some six and a half somewhere that um we got out of a junkyard a while back i could swap them out but i'm probably not going to do it right now okay, so i got the radio installed and i mean i'll show you guys the stereo in better detail later like everything that it does and all that but um shout out to the company atato What's up? Uh, to 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 <laughs> Thank you guys for sending that out. I will say, I mean, we were messing with it a little bit, and it's it's fucking badass, dude. It's a pretty sweet ass head unit, um, and they are giving you guys 10% off. It is in the description down below. But you guys, you guys know we have a lot to do to hit the road. So now we got the van turned around, and we got to pull the tail lights off and get to the wiring. I've got this trailer wiring that we need to hook up to the van because I ended up picking up some light. So once we get these tied into the tail lights it has a this is a four pin the flat connector for trailers i have uh these tow this towing light kit and it also plugs into the four flat four pin connector so these are those magnetic lights bro i'm sure you guys have all seen them uh i'll stick these on the back of khaki so then i'll have lights on the back and we'll be legal on the highway So I didn't have I didn't have to buy the wiring kit and the light kit. I literally oh, the yeah. light kit literally came with the harness that has to go on the car. So eh, it was only like twenty five dollars. Fuck so, at least you have it laying around. Yeah, fuck it. All right, so the van is done. I got new tires put on the front. I don't know if I've mentioned that because the front tires are kind of dry rotted and cracked. The rear ones I've replaced kind of recently. Got the stereo hooked up in here. Got the van pretty much cleaned out. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to bring the freezer or not. We got the rack up here in which I'm going to put one of the stock wheels, wheel and tire up here so I have a spare. And then probably one of my big floor jacks. I'm just going to ratchet strap up there on top of the rack. Uh, we got the lights ran. The lights are definitely going to help with like the dark ass roads and shit. Like, I don't know. Guys, you got to understand, this is my very first road trip ever. Like, I've never left arizona before well I've, that's not true i've been to vegas for a weekend and that's the only time i've ever left arizona so we got the trailer wiring ran uh i actually have the lights up here right now just just for shits and giggles i thought they looked pretty dope up there we went to salsitas last night after we we're done working on this and i just i just stuck them up there just for shits and giggles bro but anyhow now as far as the hatch I have this thing, which I'm really hoping this is going to work, but pick this up from Harbor Freight. It's an adjustable tow bar. So we got to attach this on the front um, and it has a two inch receiver. So that's why I have a two inch ball on the, on the van. So yeah, then we'll be able to just pull the Civic behind the van. And on top of that, I, I bit the bullet, bro. I said, screw it. So I went ahead and I spent the hundred and fifty dollars hundred and eighty dollars whatever it came out to be on the exact same battery so hopefully i don't kill this battery too but at least for the trip we'll have a brand new battery don't have to worry about it oh shit came with a sticker bro i have like a collection going all right where should i put this one out name yeah maybe right there looks like it'll fit sick hell yeah test it out really quick this is gonna be nice bro i hope this thing starts right now but if it does it's gonna be awesome starting this damn car without a jumper pack for the first time oh shit that's a good sign Sick! Car needs a tune, man. Uh, the the cranking fuel definitely needs to be adjusted on it. It still thinks that it has Pro 2 cams in here, so kind of a problem. 
What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, we got the brackets mounted. What I ended up having to do is use the, the bumper support uh, so I had something to mount it to. I did run out and pick up a piece of steel that I was gonna mount right here and try to figure that out, but I don't know. It just didn't work out the way that I was thinking it would, so. Screw this shit. Plus, that's, that's a, a lot of weight, bro. <laughs> but anyhow, I think this is gonna work pretty damn good. It's on there solid. Well, there it is, dude. Fucking crazy ass look for khaki, man. Like, I don't know. But what's dope about it is it's literally just these quick release little pins. So whenever I pull up and like, hopefully these meets go down. Whenever I pull up and meet with you guys, I can just pull the pins and boom, khaki's ready to drive. You know what I'm saying? Or of course, if we break down and I need to take khaki to a fucking auto parts store. <laughs> All right, one last thing I need to do is I gotta jack up the front, I gotta pull the wheels off, and the pinch frame right here is actually rubbing whenever you turn, so I need to just kind of hammer that pinch frame back a little bit, and then just kind of adjust the tie rod ends and just do a half-ass alignment right here. Just get the wheels as straight as I can by eye. Um, it's the best I'm gonna be able to do for right now. I think it'd just be better to get it a little bit straighter before hitting the road because 1,700 miles can probably do some damage to them tires, boy. Okay, go ahead. All right, stop. These lift that side up for me. These rattle so much. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just a light bulb. Just, just a little bit of love tapping. <laughs> Needs a light bulb right there. Jesus, that was great. All right, well there it is, man. We got khaki hooked up. Um, I do need to get a drop hitch. One that actually drops down because the back of the van's sitting kind of high now. But there's our magnetic lights on the back. So that's got our running lights and brake lights. Unfortunately, we could not get the damn blinkers to work because the way they want you to wire this up, you have to like tie the blinker, the left blinker in with the left brake light and then the right blinker in with the right brake light. But whenever we did it that way, like if you turn the left blinker on, both of them blinked. Like it tied the circuit together. I don't know why we, we screwed with it for like two hours, man, and couldn't get it to work properly. But um, I figured at least I have running lights and brake lights back here, and then there's still turning signals on the van. So basically, I just won't switch lanes if I'm near a cop. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll use hand signals. <laughs> 
But Braven's gonna sit in khaki while we go around the block. So just just in case something does happen, he can at least hit the brakes, you know what I mean? Is the key in the ignition? Yeah. Okay, take the key out of the ignition so that the steering wheel stays locked. Just I set it in. Have it the... just in case. So yeah, that's fine. Just All right, here's the camera. Oh, you literally to don't touch any pedals, steering wheel, nothing. You just... I'll just sit here and wait. <laughs> hurts well everything seems all right other than i need to get this sitting lower so i do need to get a drop hitch one that doesn't just come straight out it needs to actually angle down like the one that i had but i turned it in and then um other than that i think we're fucking good to go anyhow guys i just have to pack up my clothes and tools and just all the stuff that i'm gonna need on the road bro and then i'm pretty much ready gonna be heading out first thing in the morning so by the time you see the next video we're gonna be on the road man so uh new mexico is first uh i hope i can possibly it's really difficult to organize these meets because i don't know what time or what day even i'm gonna end up in each state so it's it's gonna be kind of like I don't know. It's going to be hard to organize, but I hope I can meet as many of you guys as possible while I'm out on the road. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, and I hope you guys are looking forward to, to the um, travel vlogs, travel videos. I don't know. Anyhow, peace out, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Or say bye to Braven. This is going to be the last time you guys see him for about a week. Or two. Yeah.